Editing yes, POV, I'm so it. tired of forestry, I'm about extraction. to delete all these forestry <laughs> clips. It's 3 XP per, and there's level 8. Oh, the 4! Level 9 construction, there we go, 88. I can now lamp to level 10. Level 10, and there is 75 woodcutting. Members can now cut down magic trees. Let's see what's in all these caskets. A cosmic talisman. Oh, that's a lot of gems. And I got a jade, even. I've got 20 fishing now. Just need 20 runecraft. You did books. It's 20. Yeah, I wasn't that bad. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm just gonna do the quest in 9 and then uh, do books to 11 or 20 or whatever. That would be, that would be the way to do it. Uh, enter the abyss. I was kicking myself for not doing that. Alright, I'm cheating anyways. Make sure I leave the chat, though. Level 9 runecraft. Runecraft 10. X marks the spot done. From level 10 to 14. Level 18. And there is 20 runecraft. Time to start the quest. Am I gonna read it this time? No. If I have 47 agility, I can take the shortcut. Well, easiest quest monster. Just pray melee. Oh, double max hit back to back. And back around the mountain. I think I unlock Camtorum now. I made it in the city. So many shops available. This guy, I have newts, vials of water, pickaxes, pies, rubies, and the rune shop. The saw is acquired. You can restore my run energy here. It feels so nice to be able to run for this whole quest. Yeah, I'm gonna check the blacksmith shop. Nothing great, but the adamant square shield. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna bank all my equipment. I'm actually gonna need my equipment. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll fill my inventory with fish and try to fight the eclipse soon. Oh my god, I don't even have the cooking level to cook the fish. Oh, no. The plan is on hold. I'll come back later. Check out the prayer mining. See if I can do that already. Okay, I need 41 mining to do the prayer. Damn. Power mine iron until 40. At level 43 magic, I can cast super heat item, and it has a 100% success rate with smelting iron ore. Typically when you smell iron ore, it's a 50% chance to just give you nothing and no experience. So once I get to 43 magic, I'll get both a magic training method and a better smithing method for using this iron ore. 40 mining, one more to go. 41 mining. You can now use a rune pickaxe and mine the calcified deposits. Huge. Selling the adamant pickaxe and buying the rune pickaxe. Joel got a rat task, so I'm helping him boost some Slayer experience by killing Scurrious, getting it down to about 40 health, and then letting him finish it off on the bottom of our account. He gets one, over 1,000 XP drop per kill. It's incredible. Time to smash these deposits. Worth 6 to 15 shards each, or a moth 1 in 5. Gonna go ahead and make this Sunfire Wine by crushing the splinters into it. I'm gonna take all my bone shards and use them to get prayer experience. Time to get all my prayer experience from clicking on this bowl. Let's see, I'm at 43 or 3k left. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even that high of a level. A jug of blessed sunfire wine weighs less than a jug that's empty. I don't know about <laughs> that one, Jagex. No! 200 XP away. What a miscalculation. Well, at least I can use redemption at 49, so. 50 was just gonna be the cool announcement in the clan chat. I have all of these tile markers next to the bird that says use Renu, like around the Varlamar bird, so I don't actually go back to Varrock, and they've swapped the damn birds. You're gonna eat the moth and you're gonna like it. Cooked Bream heal you a third of your fishing level, so I'm gonna only be healed seven right now. Varlamar, there's fly fishing on the north coast. There's lobbies and sharks by the fishmonger. And on the east coast, there's anchovies like every single type 30 cooking Imagine. i'm gonna get my fishing to 45 i think and then i'm gonna try the quest again oh my god i just tried to burn a willow log to cook my fish and i have level one fire making easter event kind of goes hard i just got 30 oh. fishing now i can get salmon for the lobbies 40 fishing yeah you're right i can fish lobbies now i'll take a free dunce oh yeah it's got 45 fishing i'm actually catching the fish now that i have like a decent fishing level all right, here I go. <laughs> Eclipse Moon. Oh, there's a cutscene. I can't believe it. Zuma! You ever play Zuma? Oh, yeah. That's a good classic game. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Oh, it's killing me. It just hit me 20. Wait, why am I only hitting two? Oh, the armor stat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Oh, I just need to level up. Okay, so my, my max hit was reduced by 6, which is pretty substantial. Because yeah, my max hit was like 2. Okay, I need a strength potion for that boss. Yeah, I'm at the crabs. Yo, there's a guy here! He's got a fire making cape. And an amulet of accuracy. I'm here to cast wind strike on them crabs. Level 10 magic. Oh, I can enchant recoils. Oh, nice. How many sapphires you got? Plenty. There's also a gem stall. Yeah, you can just infinitely steal sapphires and make uh, the, 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 the rings. This guy's got rune armor, but an iron square shield and a fire making cape. What is going on? <laughs> he, he shows up to crabs with inactive crystal armor, a birthday cape, and a dragon bone necklace with the corrupted bofa. <laughs> what? John's rebuild, man. When it's inactive, it gives zero stats. Like, he could just be naked. He does look pretty cool, though, with the inactive armor. I'll say that. I pickpocketed these elves, like, nine times. And I got the seeds. Oh, that's crazy. I ran out of fire runes. I'm whacking him with the stick now. I'm gonna trade in some valuables to buy some runes. 3,000. 165k. I'm just gonna cast Fire Strike to 49, because it's, like, way cheaper than using Chaos uh, runes. The rumor is that the uh, the Blood Moon one is like the hardest, but I don't know, after having a max hit of three on the Eclipse Moon or whatever the hell was going on, that seems mm -hmm. impossible. I'm level 47 magic, I can buy a Wizard Mind Bomb from the, I don't have any money. I'm level 47 magic, I can buy a Wizard Mind Bomb from the bartender here. Boost to 49 and enchant the strength amulet. Time to finally get some Herblor XP. Level 5. Level 12 Herblor can make strength potions, which will be massively helpful for completing the quest and going forward. Ending off at 18. The next goal level is 26, where I can make energy potions with Harlander. I'm gonna start superheating my iron ore. This definitely beats picking up the iron bar spawn. I just got 70 strength. Boom. The sea is silent. Dragon Skimitar? <laughs> Don't you fucking <laughs> oh, no. I got a myth Skimitar. That's pretty Skimmy? epic. Skimmy? Oh, yeah. yeah. I spent at least half an hour trying to figure out the Nahuik uh, pronunciation for the, <laughs> yeah, the Makahuik. Because <laughs> I was like, how the f do you pronounce a Makahuito? And it is, that is perfectly fine. Like American. <laughs> It's time. Enough dilly dallying. Planting a new Guam. I'm decanting my potions rapidly. Hippo fart 27. In the house. Here we go. Yeah, I'm getting like decent XP drops, but I'm hitting three. Hit a three max hit. Oh no! Oh no! My prayer. I don't know what's going on, honestly. It's like he's taking damage. I'm not even hitting him. It's a one health, Joel. I have nothing left. I believe. <laughs> I got him! Hell yeah. The Eclipse Moon has been defeated! Where can we restore our prayer? I'm just gonna run to the top of the mountain and come back. It probably is a really smart idea to farm the Silver Nagwas. I, I think I gotta- I think I'm- I think I'm going for these weapons! Oh, uh, I was going to. One in 450? We're killing these guys for noted smithing supplies anyway. I'm actually gonna do that. That's gonna make the boss so easy. The, uh, the Blood Moon. Bless my wine to the libation pool. Does this libation pool store your progress? Yeah, it does. 50 prayer. GZ. Oh yeah, man. There we go. And I crush them off and get back. And time to farm these Nagwas. It will be kind of cool if they start adding in like armor sets that give armor. Oh. What's their range defense? Plus 200. They have 40 plus 200, so they're weak to crush. 55 chaos runes. I like that. Yeah, now I can quick pray. And get the DPS boost in too, see that? Oh yeah. They're like 8% and it's like the loudest thing on my computer. 
after their fifth attack, they have a three tick prayer drain attack, so it puts it off cycle. What do they even write Runelite plugins in? Java. Sunset Lock just got 80 crafting. He's been blowing glass? Oh my god. How bad is the hunter training? I mean, it's, it's those rocks. Could I get the 65 hunter so I can catch these moths? Oh no! Oh, oh no! I messed up, I lost my last prayer point. Well, I'll kill him till I run out of supplies. She won't let me give her the sulfurous essence yet, which is sad because it's gonna get deleted when I leave this area. All right, I'm gonna catch these lizards until 31,000 total XP. Yeah, no. I'm at like 5k, 6k. I have a theory. So I think it's at base set zero now. So if I put one here, nothing will happen. And then when I click on this one, it completes it. And this one has a rope on it right now. It's like this yeah. rock has a rope. So now if I click over here, it's gonna set it here, put a rope there. And when I click the middle one, it'll complete all of them. Okay. Now the question is, when I break all of the ropes, what's it gonna do? So I broke all of them. So now if I click here, it sets it. If I click here, looks normal. So there's a rope on that rock. I click here, ties a rope here, and when I click this one, it's gonna complete all of them. Okay. Yeah, it'd be nice if they did something visually to indicate mm -hmm. that, like, it's holding a rope or something. But they, they might have done that, and they might have realized how scuffed it already is. And they're like, yeah, nah. After about an hour of catching these lizards, I'm 2400 experience away from catching Jerboa, which you catch with box traps. And so I'm going to do the quest Eagle's Peak, which unlocks the usage of box traps, and also happens to give 2500 hunter experience as a reward. So after doing that quest, I'm just going to move to Jerboa until I get to 46, and then I can check out the Hunter's Guild. I'm going to take a quick break and have a succulent Chinese meal, then get back on the scape and time to break the rules again and do Eagle's Peak. Drainer Village, you make the die. And I'll make one for Jewel as well. I made it across the world to Ardoin to start the quest. In all my time playing RuneScape, I've never been at this exact area. I can't take this agility shortcut that you always take when you do this quest because I'm level one agility. So I have to walk around the entire mountain. Oh no, I need to go to Varrock and then come back to Eagle's Peak. There's 25 crafting, I can now make the Jade Necklace. Enchanting the Necklace, Necklace of Passage, there we go. Just teleport to the outpost with the, the necklace. One last time, skipping the shortcut and running all the way around the mountain. Bring the ferret back to Ardoin, oh god. Another quest conquered, ah oh, yes. 39 Hunter, you can now trap Embertail Jerboa. And I brought the moth with me to get back quickly. Boom. Back to Camtorum. I'm an Iron Man, so I can't take that box trap. Hmm. I'm gonna try it on a PvP world. Nope. Just got 46 Hunter. I th I'm gonna go check out the Hunter Guild. Currently not planning on doing any rumors until 69 Hunter, where I can potentially lock out the Dashing Cabaret, Red Chinchampa, or Red Salamander. Oh. Be care. Hello, Master. Oh, be cares. Run. Master, where the fuck is this guy at? Run for your Jeff. fucking lives! Logged out. Sorry, Jeff. Don't worry about it. These guys ain't killing me for shit. Yeah, I they're... killed one! Yo, hell yeah! Nice. Oh, he stuffs on the ground! Oh. Holy shit, oh. Zoom! Tell him to get the fuck out of here. Nah, man, we chillin'! Hey. This chicken's about to die. He's... I'm gonna void breaker chicken. Ah, uh, please don't. I died. <laughs> on the way out. That sucked. <laughs> He's got a Slayer helmet and a Salvon. <laughs> hey. Let's Leave him alone. Let, I was just, just giving him some information. Crucial information. I ran back in the cave. No! Like, I'd leave a couple inventories. 57 Hunter. I can now catch Pyre Foxes. Oh no. The Onyx drop from the Coliseum is only from beating the last boss. One in 41.5. Top left screen here, it's got 65 Hunter. I can now catch Sunlight Moths, which will be way faster exp experience than catching Jerboa. I need to get to 75 to catch Moonlight Moths, but I'm gonna keep doing this because it's more AFK. These Moths give 74 Hunter XP and they're quite rapid to catch. And they also restore your run energy when you catch them. So I'm gonna just do this to 75. Getting up to about 80K XP per hour. I'm failing quite often without the magic butterfly net, but hopefully it gets better with the level ups. Yesterday, baby. Oh, you got the blades? Nice, dude. 209 KC. How many? 209. Grab the blue moon. I can't do it. So I need good RNG. Uh, I can 
running more times, but um, people are waiting on me, so. I got a good idea though. I'm in Camptorum, I'll catch some Sunlight Moths on the way back to my herb run, and it'll restart my run energy, and then I'll do the same on the way back. I'll give you two mil if you bring your fang into the wild on a high risk world, going to KBD. Can I protect it? No, you can't yeah. protect item in a high risk world, and you lose, you don't save three either. You lose oh, really? everything. Yeah, I'm there with D claws. No one's there. You're safe. Yeah, you see, you're scald. I was dooming a little bit about getting 75 hunters, 1.2 mil. But we can just pick up the trapper's tipple in the hunter guild, and it's plus two, so we only have to get to the 73. Maybe we just kill the boss with this Teku Salamander. It's actually crazy good. It has the same strength bonus as a leaf bladed battle axe. But 68 hunter, level 69 hunter. Dashing kept for the last level I needed in order to start setting up the perfect block list for Varlamar only rumors. So I'm gonna start doing some of these contracts and see what happens. I'm gonna grab these adept contracts because I'm probably never gonna do them, but we'll, we'll just see what they get. Horned Grack, yep, can't do that. Barbed Tailed Kebet, cannot do that. Ember Tailed Jerboa, which is perfectly fine because I can just go catch those right outside. I was already doing that. I got the tail, caught like 50 or something. All right, Gilman. Pyre Fox, wow, another one I can do. I'm just gonna start lamping Herblor, level 19. I got the Fox Fluff on my last one before I was gonna go bank all my, my meat. Next rumor, Ember Tailed Jerboa, wow. Got the Jabro tail at about 43 to 1 in 50. All right, next rumor. Orange Salamander. One Quetzal Feed, two Quetzal Feed, some Bone Shards, and some Hunter Spear Tips. Very nice. Orange Salamanders are caught in the desert just south of the Necklace of Passage teleport, and I am going to do it because I need to set up my rumors properly, and I'm going to teleport to Eagle's Eyrie. Medium Diary task completed. My count is ruined. Alright, I got that claw. Alright, next rumor. Gray Chinchampa. What I need is the red Chinchampa to be locked out. That is unfortunate. There's somebody else hunting chins here? Is this a real player? Probably not. Reported for salutations. Sit down. There's bots catching chins here? Reported for salutations. Sit down. Sit down. It's every world. Sit down. Reported for sell you reported for salutations. Sit down. 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 It's legitimately every single world. Sit down. 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 Oh, finally a free world. Wow, I got my chin chamba tuft within seven. Drop all your chins. Yes. Goodbye. Alright, next rumor. Saber tooth kebit. I'm gonna put the hunter to the side for a bit and try to get to 30 construction so that I can move my house to Relica and then just teleport there to finish my hunter rumor. I need some money for runes, so I'm gonna trade in 5k valuables for 275k coins. I bought a thousand nature runes to superheat my iron ore and hopefully that gets me close to 54 magic so I can teleport back to Varlamore. I can mine this iron ore and superheat it at the same time, which is some pretty efficient XP if you ask me. Last round of the day is a maze random. Oh, death runes. And there's 54 magic. It didn't show, but I can teleport to Civitas now. With construction training, I kind of have two options for what I what I can do. I can use the plank spawn and pick them up, but I need one nail per plank, and it will probably bend some as well. My other option is to buy limestone bricks, which are worth 20 construction experience each. It cost me 626 coins to buy 20 limestone bricks, which is worth 400 experience. And I can teleport to my house, set it into default build mode and turn on build mode and I need to build a garden and in the centerpiece I can put a rock and I use the CV test teleport to get back to Varlamore. Alright, I'm thinking I'm gonna do the, the plank method. It is just a little bit easier and the limestone vendor is pretty far from the Quetzal. Alright, I've got the last inventory of planks here. Level 30 instruction. Oh nice. Boom! 10k. Your house has been moved to Relica. And I got my 1 in 15 Kebet Tuft and 3 Kebets. Alright, next rumor. Please be Salamander Chinchampa, Dashing Kebet. Black Warlock, that sucks. I was eight years old when Black Warlocks were added to the game in 2006. <laughs> Releasing a Black Warlock boosts your strength. It's a one in 75 for the wing. Oh God, that's not great. There we go. I caught my wing. I got 69 Renar Weeds for my uh, herb run. All right, next rumor. Yes! Okay, I got Dashing Kebet. Dashing Kebet is one of the three that I need to lock out. So that is locked in. And if I was an honorable follower of rules, I would drop these loot sacks, but I'm gonna open them and just see what's in them. Yeah, it's four Quetzal feed, that's pretty nice. Some prayer XP, a couple meat, 5k, and some spear tips. It's not a big deal. 
I'm keeping it. In order to use the hunter spear tips, I need 60 fletching. So I'm gonna make all my iron bars into arrow tips to get my fletching up. The first thing I did when I got members in old school was I went to the GE and I'm like, I'm gonna get 99 fletching. And I just kept buying logs. And then I got to like 70 and I realized, I'm like, this is gonna take way longer than I thought. Yep. And uh, gave up. You got the the range weapon and you didn't even notice. You're just like doing more waves. I have no what idea. What the man. hell, dude? Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and no you idea. kept going. I have 400 coins in my name. I can no longer afford to superheat my iron ore. I'm 1,000 iron bars away from 51 smithing. I'm completely out of cash, so I'm going to try to sell some of these amulets I stole a long time ago. The jewelry store will buy them for higher than the elk price. I love that. That was a quick 25k. I forgot I had these other amulets and rings. Another quick 30k. There's 55 magic. I can cast high elk me. That unlocks my best money maker of doing the Colosseum and elking the rune drops. 70 hunter. I can now boost to catch antelope. Gonna trade in all my valuables because I am very broke. I finally got enough iron bars to get to 50 smithing. After a substantial amount of time, I'm finally reaching level 50 smithing. Got over 30,000 arrow tips and about a thousand nails. Two mithril bars smelted. Got my dwarven stout from the bar. Two mithril axes are made. Just got a lamp, put it on herblore to 20 herblore, and I can clean Harlander now. And finally, I'm level 60 fletching, and I can fletch you logs. There it is. Be able to drink this wizard mind bomb an enchant diamond and get a power amulet i'm just gonna auto retaliate and eat and see how that does against these sulfur guys wow oh, no. i just got it at 88 that's uh okay damn good. oh yeah man <laughs> wow all right you can have your sulfur blades back <laughs> That was so quick. Oh, I found an eclectic imp. Ah, uh, gold ore. They finally fixed the Piro Piro crop circle near Civitas. So, Varlamor accounts now have access to Piro Piro and implinks. They also just buffed all of the loot from the Colosseum. Massive Varlamor buffs this week. Poison Swamp is offering a special rank in the Discord if you're the first person to find the crop circle. It's been a couple hours and no one's found it yet. So, we will see who gets the special rank in the next episode. See you there. Also, I posted in the Discord that a nearby player must be wearing an imp mask in the wheat field to spawn the circle. And uh, some people definitely fell for it. Does it require the imp mask though? That update has me a little confused. That's hilarious.